it was called the Fred Head. <laughs> Wait, the what now? Yeah, it's what doesn't come up very often. Oh, thanks, oh. Pop. Oh, come on, Fred. It's supposed to be my treat. Hey, get it next time. Excuse me. Oh, oh. don't cause a scene. Hey, let me invite you guys out. Let me pay. Put your damn money away. P, take it easy. You owe me this. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Go ahead and get this one. I kissed Fred Andrews. No, Mom. The you other know, thing. Forging it her signature. You forging my signature to get Fred Andrews that stupid contract to build on Dad's land. Veronica, I asked you to sign it. You broke the law, Mom. And you used me to do it. When Daddy finds out, he's going to think I betrayed him. He won't. I will tell him. And she told me not to cry because there was one thing in this world that no one could ever take from me. My name, Reggie. Which after telling me no one would ever take it, that is exactly what, what she, she did. did. Like it meant nothing. Like it was nothing. Like I was nothing. Your dad and me, we, uh, we started Andrew's construction together. You and my dad were partners. <laughs> he wouldn't call us that. We struggled at first. Fred, he just had your, you and your mom to provide for. I had Jughead and Jelly Bean and their mom and hospital bills. So I took some odd jobs. One of them landed me in some hot water. Dad was, well, he was good enough to bail me out. He said we should part ways, that I was a liability. Made me sign a paper saying that the bail money was him buying me out of the company. Never mind that my share of the business was worth probably 10 times that. Easy. That's shitty. What's that? But of course, we don't want to just offer financial support. We want to give Polly all the emotional support that a young mother to be needs. No, don't tell Where him. Where is Polly staying now? Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Don't. I'd rather not say yet. All you have to do is trust. Don't trust oh, them. Yeah. That was pretty generous. So generous you didn't give him a second chance? Of course I did. You have no idea how many times I bailed that man out of jail. When someone is drowning, you can try to save them. But not if they're going to drag you down with them. I did the best I could for my family. Yeah, and who cares if Jughead ended up drowning, too? There's that. Fine. Agreed. Now my turn. Whatever is happening with you and Fred can't happen under this roof. Agreed. And you have to come clean to Daddy about forging my signature. Lodge Industries needs to partner with legitimate businesses, not criminals. Understood. I don't want Daddy thinking I betrayed him. I will tell him about the forgery and say it was all my doing. And it I'm going to need you to come down to the station with me. Why? This, your prints are on file from an incident that happened six years ago where you spent some time at the Riverdale Juvenile Delinquent Center for uh, attempting to burn down Riverdale Elementary School. I was playing with matches, and that's a pretty tenuous connection for a sheriff. You have a long and rough history, Mr. Jones. A little lot. Yeah? My name is Jughead. By the football team in particular. I only assume that would have included So Jason they think he Lawson. killed Jason? So how about this? You think I... Jughead, kid like you, raised on the wrong side of the tracks by deadbeat dad, bullied by kids like Jason Blossom. Shut the fuck up. I mean, who wouldn't want to lash out at that? Carol, you've called Polly a party girl. Have you seen her take drugs firsthand? Um, I'm not sure. She's so trying to find a reason to take the baby away from child, Polly. But we, I was with you, and I know who you are. Well, those Paradise Lost kids went to death row because they wore black and they listened to Metallica. I don't want to become a scapegoat. I'm not going to let that happen. Yeah, the week of July 11th, was it? Yeah, I had him tearing out some drywall for it. Can provide me with documentation to support that? I have to check my time card. Lying for Jughead, trying to make up for what happened to him when he fired his dad. Jughead. Oh God, is he All drunk? Right, uh, trying to throw you in jail like they did your old man? Well, screw that! I will rip Keller a new one. I'm trying to pull that on you. Hey, no, hey, stop hey, it! You're gonna son. make it worse. Here's stop. My son, Fred. You do the same for your boy. Dad, don't. I'm gonna do what you want. 
and get my act together. I'm gonna get your mom and Jelly Bean home so we're all under the same roof. I promise. But I just need a little time to do that. Not a lot, not long. A month, two at the most. Hey. I'm sure he's heard all this before. You believe that, don't you? He does believe it. Poor Jughead. No. I'm thankful. I hope I'm Cheryl like shows up and tells him to like get the hell out of here. Don't trust my parents. You're mine, Betty. <laughs> I doubt she will, but I hope she does. Cheryl, where are your mom and dad? I have to leave. Yes. Now. Yes. Yes. My parents, I don't think they want to help you. What are you talking about? They want you out of the picture, Polly. It's not safe for you with them. It's not safe for JJ's baby. And don't worry about my mom, Betty. She'll want to help. Of course she can stay as long as you need. Anything for Alice Cooper's daughters? I'm sorry about my dad. And your dad. I'm not giving up on him, March. Not yet. You think he'll show up for work tomorrow? I don't know. You'll never know. I hope in the town, our home, to feel safe again. With every day that passed, I'm stop our drinking. Dimmed. It's darkest before the dawn. But sometimes, what? There's just darkness. Okay, guys. So that was the end of episode seven of season one of Riverdale. And oh my God, did his dad is. is Jughead's dad, the one who was following them and burned the car and then just took a souvenir with him by taking Jason's jacket. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if that happens, I'm sure he was paid to do so. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm glad that Cheryl stepped up at the end and told Polly to get the hell out, you know, get the hell out of there because her parents, they don't want to help. They were trying to find reasons to, um, after the baby's born, to have the baby taken away from her for being an unfit mother. And, you know, showing what Cheryl, you know, Cheryl knowing how her parents are, I wouldn't want to believe that she would want her niece or nephew to be raised with that with those people so i'm glad that she told them to get the you know get the hell out of there so now polly is living with veronica and her mother and jughead is living with archie for right now which i'm also glad for because now jughead has an actual home to live in for now uh we'll see where the future leads with all of that um, but other than that, nothing else really to talk about in this episode. Um, it seemed to go pretty fast. This episode just seemed to fly by for me. I don't know why. Um, sorry about the interruption earlier, but my husband had, uh, woken up and he was like peeking around here because he heard me talking. And so he was like trying to see who I was talking to. Um, you guys might have seen him. Because he came from over here. And I tried to keep the camera out of the hallway. But I didn't expect him to walk up this far. <laughs> so you might have gotten like a teeny little glimpse of him. You can't see much. But I don't know. We'll see. When I go to edit, we'll see how much of him shows up on camera. Um, But yeah, anyway. So, um, I enjoyed the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please give this video a like. If you have any suggestions on anything you'd like me to react to, please leave that down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.